Good evening. I'm Natasha Verma. And I'm Steve Lacey. That attack happened yesterday morning at Temple, Nair Tamid in the town of Bloomfield. Police are still looking for the suspect. And Fox 5's Antoine Lewis joins us live from the scene. Antoine, what's the feeling in the community tonight? Uh, well, Steve and Natasha, I can let you know that the members here are, are upset. There are interfaith supporters that also make up this community here in Bloomfield. They're all upset and all are hoping that with the video that's, the, that's been released, that police will soon make an arrest. It was around 3 a.m. early Sunday morning when Bloomfield authorities say this man approached Temple near Tamid, lit a Molotov cocktail, and threw it at the synagogue. I just feel sad for the person that at 3 in the morning, they have nothing better to do than to try to destroy or damage a structure. Officials say Temple members found the device later that morning when they arrived and called the authorities right away. I'm still in a little shock and I'm um, very angry about the situation, how um, somebody with this much hate can bring uh, negativity and hate into our community like they did. The device did little, if any, damage to the synagogue, which Temple officials say is mostly because of protective measures like shatterproofing windows and doors that were put in place a few years back after the protests in Charlottesville and the synagogue attack in Pittsburgh. Thankfully, we got a grant from the Department of Homeland Security that allowed us to harden our building a bit, um, and we're going to continue to keep upgrading and just making sure that our building and our people remain as safe as possible. Shatterproof doors and cameras and alarm systems and security that has to happen. We are actually up year over year in the, the resources that we allocated last year to this year. So temples like this one and across the state can have those resources. After throwing the device, the suspect took off down the driveway, leaving congregants shaken yet prayerful that an arrest will happen soon, which congregant Mara Glick had to explain to her five and six year old children this morning. They know that, you know, people hate Jews for no good reason and they're not good people and that we go to temple to learn about how to be a good person and that we need to continue to do that. We want to give you again a look at this alleged vandal that police are trying to track down. And we also want to let you know that the Essex County Sheriff's Office, their Crime Stoppers program, is now offering $10,000 for any information that will lead to an arrest of this individual. And as you come back to us live, state and federal authorities, including the FBI, are investigating this matter. Natasha? Antoine, thank you.